The water is wide, I cannot get old And neither have I'm Mark Bell, I'm co-director of Liquid Theatre with Matt Peeva. Um We've been uh, working since 2002. I'm Matt Peeva. Uh, and I'm the other artistic director of Liquid Theatre. Colliery Rose set in the 1950s in Sunderland, uh, or the Sunderland area, uh, about uh, a group of friends who grew up together and uh, the choices that they have to make. Uh, I, I was just looking through some old photographs and I saw this one photograph of uh, my dad and my uncle Eddie, who of course isn't my real uncle, he was just my dad's best friend, standing on Sea and Pier. Uh, dressed up to the nines, looking like they should be extras from Mad Men, uh, if it was only shot in Sunderland. Uh, and the idea kind of spiralled off from there to be something about uh, uh, the choices that people had at that point. And uh, the fact that people, pretty much my dad was working in the shipyards, all his brothers and his father worked in uh, the mines, so they thought my dad was posh. But they thought they had a job for life. It was that was the certainty. Obviously, we know now, with the benefit of hindsight, that that within 15, 20 years, that you know, th th those industries were decimated. They were destroyed. Uh, my dad was lucky enough to have got out of it before that happened. Uh, but the story I wanted to write was about these people and what if they had a chance, or some of them had a possibility of getting out of there and it wasn't, uh, 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 and they made perhaps the wrong choices. The show's going to be made in July, uh, and once it's been created, we'll be in a position to set up a tour in 2012. It's important for me that we're working in the North East, we're working with North East actors, uh, the people whose families have a connection with this past. What we're looking to make is a piece which has the style of uh, Chekhov meeting complicite, we're doing research through the Living History Project in Sunderland and other organisations that will put us in touch with people who, who, who lived through that change. The other element of the show which uh, Liquid hasn't done before is uh, we're going to have music this time, uh, which will probably be sung a cappella uh, and it will be a mixture of, uh, kind of traditional songs, particularly ones related to the area and uh, the popular music of the time, dancehall music, swing. We're running the project in partnership with Northern Stage and with Arts Centre Washington. We've also got some money from the Arts Council to support it. Uh, there's one key piece of the jigsaw puzzle missing, which is the last bit of money to put in place. What's really exciting about it is actually I've got no idea exactly what it's going to be like yet. So we're taking a bit of a, a leap of faith, just going up for three weeks in July and doing this. Um, uh, and I like that. I've been able to do that for a little she while. She sails the sea, she's loaded deep, as deep can be, but not so deep as the love I 